Uh, they were aware that he had, had acquired a firearm. Uh, the mother at the time wanted it out of the house. Uh, how he acquired it after that, you know, we don't know. Today, new details about the Central VPA High School shooter and how his family tried to intervene. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. I'm Kelly Jackson. Police revealed more about the shooter's past and how his parents tried to get him help. We have team coverage on the school shooting tonight. We'll hear from parents and how you can help the victims. First, though, we start with Sarah Maki. She is live outside police headquarters where investigators gave an update on the investigation. Sarah. Kelly, more really tough news to emerge after that tragedy today. Investigators painting a picture of a mother who tried to intervene in every way, but ultimately it would be other families that paid the ultimate price. Today, walking up to the podium, interim police chief Michael Sack, he said the shooter's family has been cooperating with investigators, telling them about all the ways they tried to do right by their son, yet unaware of what he was planning. Family members say they searched his room, checked his mail, worked with health professionals to get him treatment, even having him committed. And Sack says in just the last few months, they even called police, his mother asking them to take a gun from her son that she, quote, wanted it out of her house. Now, Sack says that the shooter did leave a notebook in his car, saying his family did not know exactly what he was planning. They, they made every effort that they felt that they reasonably could. Um, and I think that's why the mother is so heartbroken over the families that paid for his, uh, for his episode. Sack says that they did take that gun from the shooter and gave it to another adult. He says at this time it's really unclear how that gun or possibly another gun might have come into the shooter's possession. He says that they are now working with federal investigators to figure out that part. Reporting live tonight, Sarah Maki, five on your side.